is where we've been living for the past few months. It's an apartment in the south of Baja California in a, in a town called Doro Los Santos. And I'm going to show you around because I thought you guys might want to see what a little winter escape pad could look like for you in Mexico. This place cost us 6,500 pesos per month, which is about $350, or at least it was whilst we were renting it. So it was very economical. Let's go check it out. That's where I normally live, in that combi. I've been doing for the last five years, so that is why it is so important and means so much to me to be having apartment life. Mexican apartment life as well, Mexican apartment life. This is uh, quite an exciting time for us. One of our favorite rooms in the house is actually the smallest and probably the ugliest, but it has this really special feature. It has water which comes out of the wall. It's so good. How's the water there? <laughs> it's so good to have hot water. Oh my gosh, it's the best. <laughs> Endless supply. Endless supply. So this is our workspace slash living room and we don't have much furniture but luckily this apartment came with these two chairs and the dining room table and all the chairs there. So it's pretty nice. Our Christmas tree, yes it is June but we still got the Christmas tree, it's our plant as well. Um, what else? Where'd you get the Christmas tree from Leah? I chopped it. <laughs> What you got there, Leah? Found our Christmas tree. Doesn't look like a Christmas tree. Baja style Christmas tree. Thank you so much to Holly, one of our patrons, for giving us these lights to put on our Christmas tree. Care package, thanks, Holly. Guys, we recently asked our patrons actually to send us anonymous questions so they could ask us anything they liked. Yeah, it was pretty scary. But some of the questions were like, what is the biggest secret um, that we've kept in the combi? Uh, what's going on between me and Ben? How do we feel about giving away the bus? The conversation goes on for about 40 minutes and it is well worth the watch. Uh, our patrons are the people that help us create our Astro Alaska travel series by chipping in a little bit of money each month towards our production budget. So we love them because without them, there would not be a travel series for you guys to watch. So if you are part of our Patreon crew or you want to get access to that, very interesting video. Go check, it out. Go check it out up there. And this is our kitchen. If you haven't lived or cooked in a van before, this is really, really special because we have a proper sink. I can stand up while I'm cooking and washing the dishes, so it's so good. And there's so much space for food. And our mangoes. So good living in Mexico and having fresh fruit. Obviously, it's awesome to have as much water as you possibly want on tap and to have hot water on tap but we are in the south of Baja so you can't drink the tap water so in all the homes here you'll see um, bottles in garifons they're called they're like five gallon 20 litre bottles of water it costs 50 American cents to fill one of these up so it's pretty reasonable um, that thing lasts us quite a while in fact how about I show you where we fill it up Smoothies too, lots of smoothies, unlimited power for smoothies. It's been epic. Um, if you live in a van or a vehicle, you should get one of these because you can use it on an inverter. It hardly uses any power. It's a Hamilton Beach. We've been using this one for ages. I, I recommend it. Um, I'll link it up. Video not sponsored by them, by the way. Also recommend these guys. Video is sponsored by them. 
or at least it should be. Great tequila, I'll be taking a bottle of that with me out of Mexico. Also we don't have a fridge in our van, so having a fridge has been a real treat. We get to have ice, ice cream, and fresh yogurt and milk. It's so, so good to have a fridge. On that note, how much do you think our electricity has been since we've been here? We've been here six months and we've spent under... $30? Under $30 in electricity. So cheap. No heating all winter, we didn't need it. It's been beautiful, perfect weather. The, all, the only electricity we've used is to have our computers running pretty much 24-7 yeah. and um, to have the lights and the washing machine going because this place does come with a washing machine. I can't open this, this is our washing machine. <laughs> okay, we've broken the door. Broken the door to our washing machine. But just use your imagination. A washing machine. Doesn't dry, we don't have a tumble dryer here but then you don't really need one because it's beautiful weather as you can see. This is the view. This is Todos Santos where we've been staying. It's been a really, really cool town. The super, sun super. sets right over there, right over the ocean. So we have the best sunset. Ever. We've seen some magical sunsets since we've been here, let me tell you. I don't know if you can see how beautiful this sunset is, but it's the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen. It looks like a painting, it's amazing. I hope it comes out on camera. Can you see it? This is our bedroom. I know it might not seem like much to you guys, but to not have to make your bed by physically turning a sofa into a bed and making it every single night is actually quite cool. So I'm definitely a fan of apartment life at times. Awesome to have all this cupboard space as well. Obviously we live in a tiny home, so we don't really have a lot of things. Our cupboard is pretty bare. No. She can stay in there for a second. Yeah, so this is our space. Pretty cool, huh? In the morning, the sun comes in. There's the view out the window. Absolutely stunning. The sun comes in onto the bed. It's just the... This is the best climate, let me tell you. <laughs> I broke my back. So comfy. <laughs> it's funny because we've lived together for a, a, a lot of different occasions in a lot of different places but always in a bus and this is the first time we've had an apartment yeah, together. this is our first apartment together so this apartment is really special. Not only was it cheap and in an ideal location but it was our first apartment and we really like apartment life. We do like bus life, van life. Combi life. Combi life. That apartment has been really, really good. Yeah, mix it up. It's the best way to make um, van life last a long time is to mix it up, spend winters housing for people or like to Mexico. So this is our last day in the apartment and we're pretty sad about it. So we've been here for about six months now just working, 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 working and it's been really nice to, uh, to have an apartment to work in. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be hard to leave, it's really sad. Now for our subscribers and those of you that are interested in our movements, we are actually going to do the handover of the bus. Yeah, um, that's so really sad too. Changes. We're still filming Astor Alaska, this is still going to be this, the last episode, so um, we're about to finish all that up in the next two weeks. Um, it won't be out for a little while because we've got a lot of Astor Alaska footage to still work through. Um, but that's why we got the apartment for six months and stopped travelling so that we could plug in, get consistent internet and electricity connections so that we could make some awesome content for you, not least of which is the book that we've just released, Shameless Plug, but if you are into van life, we've done a complete expert's guide into like yeah. everything from finding your rig to customising your dream um, mobile tiny home and living on the road and all those questions and all that stuff. It's really good, check it out, I'll link it somewhere on, on the screen. It's food for thought though, right? I mean, we've been down here in Mexico for a whole winter, six months of cultural immersion, it's cost absolutely a fraction of what it would have cost if we'd have stayed in the US or Canada. It's, it's not surprising that more people are um, trying to get this side before that wall is built. I hope you like the video guys, uh, subscribe for more adventure videos and uh, more episodes from our Pan American and World Travels coming up soon. Until next time, happy travels.